Those are open. Yep. So 20 odd degrees out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. One, one job, eh? It's good every, afternoon, everyone. Um, we'll start with the broadcast session when everyone's ready. We'll start with Kirsty. Um, no embargo, but uh, no live tweets in during the press, please. Hi, Kirsty. Oh, yeah, good. You? Yeah, good, thank you. Well, look, we can't go on We're less than a week now till deadline day. <laughs> Uh, I don't think before Sunday. Um, I hope so before the end of the uh, end of the window. But um, yeah, there's nothing imminent. There's a lot going on. Uh, both players coming in and going out. But um, no, I don't. I don't see anything before the weekend. But I probably wouldn't have enough patience to write down all the names mm. that you've been linked with. But uh, the, the, the very latest of which is talk of a, a loan move for, for Michael Keane. Uh, no, I can't, I can't and, I, and I won't talk about uh, any players that um, until the, they, they sign. So um, you're probably right, we've been linked with a lot. Some may be true, some are definitely not. Um, but, um, but you know, listen, we, we want to sign more players. We would have liked, I know we've signed a lot of players and we're not going to shy away from talking about that and why we've done it. Um, and the reality is we would have hoped to sign even more by what we have done now. But um, but that's the, the nature of a transfer window. So, um, yeah, still a few days to, to get some things done both ways. And uh, we'll see how we end up. When we talk about those names, you're probably dominated at the moment by defensive players. Is that a key target for you? I think, uh, I think we want to get to a point when the window closes that we have um, good cover for every position but also good challenge for every position as well and we've talked many times about the usage now of five subs which I think is a, a game changer and um, you know we just want to give ourselves the best opportunity to to be able to compete and that's all we're trying to do you know I'd much rather get asked questions about uh, how many players we've signed than, than maybe not signing enough because it just shows that um, that we have the right ambition um, so um, yeah we're still going through the, the transfer window process and uh, like I said at the end of the uh, the window when it shuts hopefully um, and there's no guarantee hopefully we've got enough players in our squad to like I said to cover each position and to, to give the right challenge for each position so we have a comp competitive environment you know uh, on the training pitch and that's all we're looking to do. When you're building a, a squad like you have been doing and adding all mm. of these Exactly. On, on the pitch. Yeah. From what you've seen so far, very early days, mm. but are you confident? Yeah, I, re I really believe in in the players that we that we're working with every day. I really believe in the ones who, who were with us from last season and the, the new boys that have, have come in. We've done a lot of due diligence on on the type of players and characters that we we wanted to add. Um, there's no guarantee with anybody, and there's no guarantee, you know, with a team that would have exactly the same squad as last year as well, because this is. This is football, and uh, you know, like I said, if there was one way of, of doing it, we'd we'd all be doing it. Our circumstances are that we had to reshape the squad and the team because of the nature of the makeup of last season, and we're we're going through through that process, and um, not thinking too much about anybody else, just thinking about ourselves and our circumstances, and trying to to grow every day, trying to build our identity even stronger, and our way of playing, and the culture that we want the players to be part of, and. Um, um, and we will stick to that. And I feel like every day we're making progress on all of them, them, um, them aspects. And uh, hopefully that will continue. How much of a test will this game mm. on Sunday be? Just looking at their, their front three, you know, a lot of people will say it'll be the, the best in the Premier League, or mm. certainly amongst the best. Yeah, it's a huge challenge. You know, there's no doubt about um, that against against Tottenham Hotspur on 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 the weekend and the uh, the coach that they have, the, you know, the players that they have. Um, you know they they are a very dangerous opponent in a number of ways. You know both with and, and without the ball. But um, but this is why we wanted to get uh, get in the Premier League. This is why we wanted to be part of it to be playing these games. So um, we, we're under no illusions. This is this is a really really tough game. But we don't fear it. We're ready to go for it. And uh, uh, it's at home. And you know when when people come here, we want to make. Uh, you know, the city ground, uh, a really difficult place to, to play. And um, that'll be no different on, on Sunday. So, as I said, yeah, we know it's going to be a really tough game, but one we are really looking forward to and, and proud to be part of. And is it a game you go into thinking, yeah, you, you look ahead at that, but actually, what can we do? How can we... 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly, you know, because like I said, if, if we don't have belief in ourselves, then why, why will anybody else um, believe in us? So, um, you know, we've got a good home record at the moment, carrying on from, from last season. We've only played once at home this year, I know. But, um, but yeah, we go into the game confident. We go in, into the game backing ourselves, believe in what we do. Again, very, very aware of, of who we're playing against and the strengths that they have. But I go back to, th this is the league we want to be part of. And, and these are the games that are exciting to be part of. And, um, you know, we're going to be we're going to be ready for it. Uh, for me, yeah, yeah, we'll be yeah, and like I said, really looking forward to to coming up against his team and him, and um, but um, but won't be an awe. We look forward to it. And we back ourselves and uh, and see where it goes. Do you find the hand shake just the right as well as anything? Yeah, like <laughs> like last week and the week before and, and the week after as well. Yeah, there'd be no difference there. Yeah. So well for you. Mm. Not so far um, managed to, to break through to that Tottenham team, but what kind of player do you think they've got on their hands there? Well, I can only talk about Jed from, from last season, and he was obviously um, excellent for us, um, as was all the long players last last season. So um, so obviously we wish him well, apart from this, this weekend when we face them um, later on in, in the season. But, you know, current circumstance I'm not too sure of, and, you know, with respect, it's not, nothing to do with us. But... Um, yeah, we, we was good to work with him last year. He's a good guy, and um, you know, like I said, apart from the weekend, we we wish his career well. well done. Thank Thanks, you. Kirsty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was saying nobody's nobody's <laughs> looking. Don't worry. <laughs> It's an irrelevant question, really. You know, I can only talk about Jed last year. And um, like I said, we enjoyed our work with him and he did a good job for us. Asked me the same question about Brennan and happy to answer. Or Alex Mighton, Ryan Yates. Obviously, Ryan's a little bit older. Um, but, you know, young, uh, we'll always have young players in our, our squad uh, and hopefully in our, our team because I think that that's an important ingredient of, of what the supporters want to see. You know, hometown, academy-grown uh, players and you know we're lucky that we do have some some of them boys you know one of them captains the team and we've got other boys that be competing for places week in week out as well so so I think uh, young players always have big decisions to make in terms of um, where they need to play their, their football and sometimes they have to go out on loan sometimes they have to commit to new contracts at the club they already have sometimes they, they need to think about mo moving on and you know if, if you're a good young player and you have a good career then some of them decisions end up being really important. So, um, you know, happy to answer that about the boys who, who were with us. The guys who've been with us and left, you know, it's, it's with respect, it's nothing I should really be talking about now. But, um, you know, like I said, young players is something that will always be a part of our squad here. And, um, you know, we give a 16-year-old his debut the other night at, uh, at Grimsby, and we were really proud to, to be able to do that. I think um, I think he was the second youngest player to, to, to play. So, um Academy is really important here. Obviously, we've gone to the highest level now, and it's going to be hard for these guys to break through. But you know, we will always do our best to, to give the young players a go. There seems to be a definite change in refereeing decisions this season, uh, and letting the games mm. go on uh, and flow. H how have you found it, and uh, has it changed mm. the way that you train going into games? I think it's definitely different to the championship. 100% different to the championship. But having sat in the uh, the Premier League managers meeting for the first time. It seemed that it was a, a carry on from last season, and I can't say I sort of obviously studied the, the Premier League so much last season for obvious reasons. Although obviously you know watch the games, but um, it doesn't see. It seems to be that it's a little bit of a follow on from from last season. For us, being a promoted team, it's definitely a change, and it's something that we're talking about quite quite a lot. And um, we're trying to adapt and, and and go with the flow with it. So we've got no complaints. I uh, quite like the fact that there's been some changes to, to keep the ball in play a bit more and to keep it a more exciting game, multi-ball, etc. So I have no, no complaints with that. What we have to do as a team, like everybody else, is try and use these current ways of playing the game to our advantage. And 
and at the same time not let the opponent get the better of us on these things as well. So um, VAR is the same for us, you know, obviously it's not in the championship, it is in, in the Premier League and that's another thing we've been talking about a lot. So just trying to take all these things head on and use them as best we can. I hope so. <laughs> is this with reference to your appetite for signing players? <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to answer that? Yeah. <laughs> Let me put it another way. With so many players signed, have you done anything different for team building? Um, I mean, maybe some years ago, people like Barry Fry used to take them paintballs mm. or whatever. When you've got a lot of players in, mm. you need to get them to make sure they're quick. Have you done anything like that? We need big insurance now to go paintballing. <laughs> uh, no, I think... Um, uh, yeah, listen, it's a, I understand and I'll say it you know, week in, week out and until you stop asking that we have brought in a lot of players and we knew we were going to. I'll be honest, I, I would hope we were brought even more in by now um, and I hope that we can, can bring some more in before the end of the window. Um, and it's a challenge we're enjoying and embracing. I would much rather be, as I said to Kirsty before, I would much rather be answering questions about bringing in so many players to not bringing in enough. You know, because that shows that you know we do want to compete at this level and we do want to have ambition. Um, and it's the circumstance we found ourselves in. To answer your question, how you build a culture and um, an environment for me is an everyday behaviour. You know, I don't, I don't. Like team bonding can help and 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 things like that. But for me, it's um, it's how you treat people um, every day and how they treat each other, whether it be a staff to player, play at the player, play at the staff. You know, regardless of who the staff member is, I think that's how you build a culture. And then it's about staying pretty level through the highs and lows because hopefully we'll win some games this year. We will definitely lose games because that's, that's the, the, the name of the game. And we want to be as strong as we can be through all of these, these moments. And um, that's what I think, you know, a good culture ends up being is when you, you stay consistent to your values and beliefs and, and you live and breathe them every, every day. And um, that's what we're going to aim to do. I'll be happy when it shuts, I can tell you that. Um, no, I think that... Um, that's another player now. <laughs> um, no, I think that... Um, I don't know if, 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 if enjoying is the word. It's certainly embracing, you know, because, we, you know, like everybody else, we, when the window shuts, we just want to give ourselves the best chance to be the best we can be and be as competitive as, as we can be. And, like I said, to give ourselves an opportunity to to succeed this season and um, that's, all, that's all we're trying to do you know we've had to play a lot of catch up in terms of say the other promoted teams who've already had the type of signs that we, are, we have made already in their squad so we're playing only playing catch up to them and um, and that we feel that's going to give us an opportunity to as I said to get to to succeed this season so um, definitely embracing it definitely sticking to, to our plan some things have had to go a different way because that's the nature of the the transfer window and um, and we're still navigating through that but uh, um, my, listen my focus my main focus every day is is the, the, the service that you give the boys who, who come into training whether it be on the pitch or off the pitch and then you know running parallel to that is is possible ins and outs the nature of a transfer window so um, so you know we're taking it all in our stride it's it's a lot calmer than maybe what what's been perceived um, there's a lot less numbers being paid than what's being reported, I can assure you that. And um, and we're just carrying on with it. Like I said, there's still, still a few more days left yet. Let's see what happens. If I'm being honest, my only focus at this moment in time is preparation for, for Sunday. That's the only thing that's important to me today. Um, if some things go on outside of that with the guys who are recruiting and, and trying to bring players in, then, then great. You thought there about giving yourself a chance to succeed, but the cliche about promotion being for the success is just to stay up there. Well, success for us at the moment is is trying to win a game against Tottenham on on uh, on the weekend. As I said before, a really tough game. You know, there's no illusions of that. But again, we're really looking forward to it, and we want to be part of. You know, so um, we're not looking much further than that. You know, um, and taking it game by game. We believe in what we do. We believe in how we play. We believe in how we work. 
We want to be a strong spirit here. That's something we're building, carrying on from last season. And if we get all that right, then we give ourselves the best chance of, of succeeding. What success looks like, I'm not too sure, because we take it one game at a time. And, uh, we'll, see where, we'll see where we are in 30-odd games' time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, both done. Written section. Sorry, yeah, of course, mate, yeah. No, not not an exact number, um, but um, and my number might be different to <laughs> other people's thoughts. So um, no, it's difficult to say an exact number, but um, certainly lots of lots of things going on, lots of work going on, and um, and and like I said, that will be in the number we end up with when the window shuts will be inclusive of players leaving as well. So um, still a still a bit of work to do. Uh, no, not really. Obviously, Morgan missed the other game, picked up a kick uh, against Everton. So, un unfortunately, you know, he was unavailable for Grimsby because we would have liked to have given him a run out there. So, uh, we'll see where he's at for the weekend. We want to give him every opportunity. Um, but apart from that, we're, we're as we were. Some of the long-term injuries are progressing, but Mal's off, you know, being, being ready to feature for us. Injury is probably the first thing that... Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, it's going to be a few months, as we said, so... He's at the early stages of uh, of that. He's been really positive, obviously, which is a difficult moment for him coming to a new team, new country. You know, started the season, the first couple of games, we were ha really happy with him and what he'd done pre-season. So it was a a real uh, real kick in the teeth for him to pick up the injury that he that he has. And we were all shocked when the scan came back, but um, it's something that we're all dealing with. It's part and parcel, unfortunately. And uh, you know, we, he and us will give him the best opportunity to to recover as quick and as best as as he can. Thank you. Cool. Now we're to the written section. Daily.